people that actually do look at that they accept those things in 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 their consciousness the fact is i accept them as well but i don't give my attention to them because i don't want any of that shit in my own personal life hello this is ciprian g at the present and precise moment of 9 37 pm on the 26th march 2018 documenting step number 24 from the book steps to knowledge which is channeled by marshall vian summer so step 24 it's uh, i am worthy of god's love and it's a two 15 minutes practice period so i've did i've did this today at around 1 pm and uh, later tonight at around 8 9 uh, p.m. so let's see what I wrote in the first practice um, okay so I am consciousness God is all consciousness united into one being I am an eternal part of God as God is an eternal part of me Therefore, God's love is a given regardless of the experience we have in the dense physical world of forgetfulness. So, basically, it's the idea that, you know, I am a part of consciousness. I mean, I'm, I'm sometimes conscious. I'm a conscious being sometimes so uh, I am consciousness and consciousness is God I mean it makes sense to me based on uh, my experiences and based on what I've studied and practiced uh, it makes a real lot of fucking sense so there's that um, so God is all consciousness united into one being. So basically here, where we all are, planet Earth, Mother Earth, Gaia, whatever the fuck you want to call it, uh, we're all consciousness. I mean, everyone, every one of us has a certain degree of consciousness. And basically God is uh, when all of that consciousness finds itself into one being when there's one being aware of everyone else and being everyone else at the same time without loss of identity that seems a pretty good uh, definition of what God is to me okay I am an eternal part of God as God, as God is an eternal part of me there's not, not much to say there it makes sense to me so uh, yeah, God's love is given. I mean, God loves Himself, right? That's that's a little bit uh, narcissistic, but I tend to think that God, being love, loves Himself, itself, ourself. Makes sense. Um, and yeah, we have some experiences here in the physical world where we don't remember where where we come came come from i mean generally speaking and um yeah since we forget that we don't know it so we tend to i mean we have this craving this hunger for god but we tend to idolize for false idols and um get stuck in uh, different substances that uh, that we might associate it with that hunger makes sense okay so that was the first practice that's what i wrote not much of essence but it's 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 there you know it's pretty deep i i like it so the second practice which was done uh, like less than one hour ago some 30 minutes ago or maybe 40 let's not get too specific with that let's see what i wrote here the general idea is that the actions which we undertake in the physical realm um, 
determine if we are worthy of God's love or not. Yet, the truth is that it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. So the general idea is that actions which we undertake here on the physical world determine if we are worthy of God's love or not, which doesn't matter. I mean, um, and there is the, uh, le let me first read all of it and then maybe I'll, I'll, I'll explain it together with these other parts. Okay, so we can experience in a time delayed fashion uh, that we, which we accept in our consciousness. Everything exists all at once and from a higher perspective there isn't the judgment of good or bad, just the choice of what to experience based on what we accept in our consciousness. Uh, and surely we, ju we judge ourselves a lot, but that doesn't change our worthiness. Uh, that just changes what we experience. Since, since we choose to give life to those judgments. So basically whatever you give attention to, whatever you place your focus of awareness to, that is which you bring into your life. It might not happen uh, straight away because it's a dense physical world. So, uh, and that's the whole fucking point of it because we, Many times we tend to think a lot of shit, a lot of bad shit. Just look at the TV. I mean, don't look, but you know what happens there on the news and shit. Like people that actually do look at that, they accept those things in 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 their consciousness. The fact is, I accept them as well, but I don't give my attention to them because I don't want any of that shit in my own personal life. So instead, I choose to, to place my attention on other things. And since attention, consciousness, you know, awareness is God, uh, that's, what it, that's what's gonna manifest in our, our world. In, I mean, it's an individual thing for everybody. We, like, my consciousness is not different from your consciousness uh, there might be different degrees you have might have more or might have less but the fact is that it's the same consciousness we express the same consciousness and this consciousness there's everything all at once in it like everything happens all at once like there isn't some things that happen that's happening that haven't happened before everything already happened and we just choose what to experience based on what we would like to experience or based on what we let ourselves be influenced to experience basically base basically basically <laughs> it's it's uh, it's what you put your attention on that you revive into your life you know, like the story of Jesus in the three days he's been crucified. I don't know where I want to go to that, but it is there. It makes a little bit of a sense in this circumstance. But um, uh, yeah, this uh, this is an interesting step, and uh, I've been I've been uh, contemplating this idea. Uh, maybe. Yeah, I think I thought about it some other time. Maybe when I was high on weed or some shit like that. Surely, I mean, there's a lot of things I thought about. But the general idea is that, yeah, uh, we each basically create our own life. It's the idea of mind over matter. Whatever we accept in our mind, that's what will get portrayed in the outside. And uh, I've been seeing more of that, uh, more of that myself. Uh, by analyzing my own thoughts and mind and what I choose to place attention on and I can see that that's the case although it's it takes time to understand that because as I said depending on the intensity in which you abide in one given thing it happens faster like if it's just a random thought that you don't give much attention to it's not gonna happen straight away it, no, it's probably not gonna happen straight away. 
but it depends on what uh, what you believe and how much uh, faith you have in that one thing i mean there's a lot of factor fact, factors that go go into that but one factor is certainly intensity uh, the intensity in which you abide in that specific thought intensity and there is um, <clears throat> an intensity well what does intensity mean intensity of emotion intensity of how many times you think about that and uh, there's um, there's uh, more things to it like uh, yeah well intensity of emotion intensity of frequency i mean f frequency yeah, i guess frequency too but i mean i was i was thinking more on the lines of how many times you actually think that thing and uh yeah it's it's a really interesting step actually i i, I enjoyed doing the practices of it uh so yeah this has been step number uh, 24 looking forward to the next steps and uh Thank you for watching, I guess, if you did. But if you didn't, you didn't know that I thanked you, so I didn't thank you. So it's just that if you did watch, I thank you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> if you liked it, uh, tune in for more. If you didn't, then don't. Your choice, baby. And uh, thank you for being here. Cipri and G is out, baby. Bam.